In this video, we are taking a look at the Bitbox 02 Bitcoin only edition. Firstly, I will unbox it and show you what it comes with. Then I will show you how to set it up and then how to receive and send Bitcoin. So let's get right into it. Your Bitbox 02 will come in tamper evident packaging. Now, I've already opened mine and I filmed that but messed up the audio. But basically what you would wanna do is ensure that this packaging has not been tampered with or previously opened at all. I already checked that, everything looked in order, so I cut it open and I pulled out the box. Now what I'm going to do is slide this out of the Bitbox sleeve and then open this from the top. And here we have some information on how to control the Bitbox. There it is itself. And if we open this flap, here is everything that it comes with. Firstly, we have the Bitbox itself with the USB port and a little protection film that we can take off. We have a micro SD slot over here and that will go directly into the Bitbox. At the bottom, we have more stuff. We have a cable that will extend the length of our Bitbox connection. So this side over here will go into the Bitbox itself and then this side will go into your computer. Next, we have a few little accessories here. Firstly, this is a port that lets you connect from USB-C to a different type of USB and there's a few little more accessories in this package. Finally, we have a few documents over here. We have the getting started guide with instructions on how to start your setup. Here we have some Bitbox stickers and finally, this looks like a warranty. So this is everything that your Bitbox comes with. And I must say, I am very impressed that they give you literally everything that you need. They've even thrown in a few accessories that you don't necessarily need, but are very useful, like this cable extender. Okay, so that's everything the Bitbox comes with. Let's go ahead and set this thing up. Here I am on my computer, and the first thing we need to do is open any browser. I'm on Firefox, and we want to go to Bitbox. Dot Swiss. Now we're on Bitbox's website and we need to download the app. So I click on app at the top of my screen and then I click on download over here. And Bitbox has automatically picked up that I am on Mac OS. So I click on download for Mac OS over there and it's going to start downloading this onto my computer. All right, this zip file has downloaded to my computer. So I'm going to click on this magnifying glass and it's going to open that file in my downloads. All I need to do now is double click on this zip file and it will open the Bitbox app over here. So I'm going to delete this zip file now and we have the application in downloads. I'm just going to drag that over to my applications and quickly fill in my password. I filled my password in and our Bitbox is now sitting in my applications. So if I go ahead and click on applications, here we can see Bitbox is at the top of my screen here. Okay, so what we want to do now is actually launch Bitbox. To do that, just double click on the app. And then it says Bitbox is downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? I do, I click on open. And there we go, the Bitbox app has now launched and it says, please connect your device to get started. So we're going to grab our Bitbox and plug it into the computer now. Here we have my Bitbox ready to go. So I'm going to take off this film and pull off the USB-C protector seal. Next, I'm going to take our cable that we got with our Bitbox, plug it in just like that, and then plug this end into my computer. And if we have a look, our Bitbox has powered up. Now that our Bitbox is powered up, we need to tap the side that we can read. So at the bottom there, I can read, it says tap the side and that upside is upside down. So I'm going to click on the bottom side. Now on my screen over here, I'm seeing a pairing code and on my computer, I'm seeing the same pairing code. So we just need to make sure that those match and I can see DX6UV, HZ, JP3 and so on and so on. Those both match. So to verify that, I'm going to click on the little check mark by tapping the top right of the Bitbox, just like that. And then I also need to verify that on the computer. So I click on continue. So we have two options to set up a wallet. We can either create a new wallet or we can restore a wallet from backup. So if you already have created a wallet in the past and need to restore it, you can restore it here from micro SD card or from recovery words. In our case, we're going to be creating a new wallet. 
Now, if we click on create wallet over here, that is going to save our recovery phrase or seed phrase onto a micro SD that we would put into the Bitbox itself. In my case, I really like seed phrases over micro SD. So I'm going to click on advanced options and we have the option to skip the micro SD backup and write down the recovery words instead. So I'm going to check that on. Now note that you can do both if you wish. At a later stage, if you put the seed phrase on the micro SD card, you can go into your Bitbox settings and write down the words as well. So if you prefer to have both, then go ahead and uncheck this and just create wallet and write down your seed later. For me, I don't really like the micro SD, so I'm going to click on advanced and make sure this is toggled on. Now we also have the option to create 12 words instead of 24. I prefer for these videos to make 12 words because the video is a bit faster, but you can choose whichever you wish, 12 or 24. So I've checked that on, it's gonna be a 12 word seed phrase and I click on create wallet. Now we need to give our Bitbox a name. So for this video, I will just call it demo wallet and then I'm going to click on continue. Now we need to confirm the name on our Bitbox. So here on our Bitbox screen, we can see the name is set to demo wallet. I'm going to approve that by clicking the check mark here and that is all done. Next, we need to set our Bitbox O2's password. So to do this, you need to select the letters or the numbers that you wish to use. At the moment, it is showing me all lowercase letters. To toggle that, I need to click this top middle section and it's going to change to capitals. If I toggle that again, it's going to change to numbers. And then if I do that again, back to lowercase. For this video, I'll be setting the password to demo. However, I suggest you set a much stronger password than that. So to select demo with a capital D, I'm going to switch to capital letters. Then I'm going to select the option that has D in it. I see it's to the left, so I click on the left section and now it's in the middle there, so I click on the middle and now D is in the middle again, so I click on D. And now I've selected a capital D. Next, I want lowercase e, so I toggle to lowercase. There we go. Then e is in the left section, I click on that. e is in the middle and e is on the right, so I click on that. Now I've selected DE, next is M, so what I need to do is click middle, middle, and middle. Finally O, which is again in the middle, then it's to the right, and then it's to the left. So now I've set my password to demo. To confirm that, I need to hold both sides of the Bitbox like that. So just like this, I have now confirmed my selection and I need to repeat the password. So I'm just going to speed through this. You don't have to see it again. So I go capital D. And there we go. I have re-entered the word demo. So I'm going to confirm that by holding both sides and it says success. All right, now on my computer screen, I'm going to see this create backup screen. And it says, before proceeding, please read these important security considerations. And this is basically going to tell us everything we need to do and what we mustn't do with our seed phrase. The seed phrase you write down backs up all your Bitcoin, so the security of that seed is of vital importance. Let's go ahead and read what Bitbox says. Firstly, I should store my backup in a secure location. Yes, my backup is not password protected. Anyone with access it can access my wallet. So that is the physical backup that you write down on a piece of paper. That is not password protected because it's literally just a piece of paper and anyone with that paper can steal your seed. So you should store it in a secure location because it's not password protected. And if you lose or damage your Bitbox, the only way to recover the funds is to restore from my backup. So you need that seed phrase we're about to write down if you lose the backup. So I check that box. Next, if I lose or damage both my backup and my Bitbox, then my funds will be lost. Again, you need the seed phrase. The Bitbox stores a copy of the seed phrase. So if you lose the backup and the Bitbox itself, your Bitcoin is gone. Next, I should not put my recovery words in a computer, phone, printer, or any device other than a Bitbox O2. So this Bitbox device is specifically designed to secure your seed phrase. 
You should never put it online, on your computer, on a printer. It is supposed to go only in the bit box and in the physical world, like if you're writing it down on a piece of paper, never in a internet connected device. So I click check mark over there and I click on continue. Now we need to write down the 12 recovery words from our bit box. So here on the screen, it says warning, do not share your recovery words with anyone. I understand that. So I click on continue and it says, please write down the following words. I click on continue. Now it's going to display my 12 words. I'm going to grab a piece of paper and write them down. So here on the screen, we can see my first word is target. So I've gone ahead and written down word one target. I'm going to click on next and word two is spike. So I'm going to write down two with the word spike, just like that. Then if I proceed, word three is code. I'll write that down and I'll do this until all 12 words are written down. All right, so my 12th word was fiction. I wrote that down. Now at the top right, I'm going to click on continue. And now I have to please confirm each word to double check that I've written it down correctly. So I proceed with that. And now I need to select whichever word fits my seed phrase. So my first word is target. Now, all I need to do is scroll through the selections here and I see target over there. So I see that and I click on select at the middle, bottom middle. My second word is spike. So I'm going to click on next. There I see spike and I click on the middle to select that. Word three is code. So I toggle until I see code. There it is. Then I select the middle and I'm going to do this for all 12 words. All right, my 12th word is fiction. I'm going to select that. And there we go, it says backup created. And now on my screen, it says, you're ready to go. You've successfully created your backup. Please store your recovery words in a secure location. So I'm going to put my seed words somewhere very safe now and continue with the process. I'm going to click on get started. And here we are in the My Portfolio screen. And now at this point, we can start receiving and sending Bitcoin. Receiving Bitcoin is very straightforward. Simply click on Receive Bitcoin over here, and it's going to show us this screen. What we need to do now is verify the address that it's displaying on Bitbox02. So I'm going to click on this blue button over here. Now it's going to display this address on my screen, and it's also going to display the same address on my Bitbox. Now in this step, what we're doing is ensuring that our Bitbox verifies that this address is in fact correct. So what I'm going to do is just make sure that these match and I see the first five characters are BC1QX, then it's 3ZFZF. So if I look on my screen here, that matches. Now on Bitbox, the device itself, I'm going to swipe all the way to the far right and look at the last five characters, which are 8P0VQ. And if I look on my computer, I see those match. Now you can check more characters if you want, but for me, checking the first uh, five or seven and the last five are good enough. So what I'm going to do now is copy this address and send some funds over to this wallet address of mine. Here on my phone, I have Blue Wallet running, but of course you can send Bitcoin to this address from wherever it's currently stored, whether it be a different hardware wallet, a different software wallet, or an exchange or third party service. So what I'm going to do is click on send in Blue Wallet and scan this address on my screen. Then I'm going to select an amount and then go ahead and click on send now. All right, the funds are sent to my Bitbox. And if I go ahead and close this screen and go to my portfolio, here we can see nothing has arrived quite yet. Now in my home screen, it says it looks like this wallet is empty, but if I go to my Bitcoin account over here, we can see that the transaction is on its way, but it's pending. So what we're doing here is waiting for a confirmation on Bitcoin's blockchain. And then once that confirms on the blockchain, my balance will update. So we'll give the Bitcoin blockchain some time to go ahead and confirm our transaction. What you can do if you want to track this transaction on the blockchain is click on your wallet to the left, then on your transaction, click this little magnifying glass. Then go ahead and copy this transaction ID at the bottom of your screen. 
Now I'm going to open a website. So I open Safari and head over to mempool.space. In mempool.space, I am going to paste that transaction ID in the top right, click on return. And here we can see I should be in the next Bitcoin block. So again, we'll just give this some time to confirm on Bitcoin's blockchain and we'll be back when that is all completed. All right, this transaction has been confirmed on the blockchain. We can see I have one confirmation over here. So I'm going to open Bitbox app again. And here we can see my available balance has updated and I now have this much Bitcoin in my Bitbox. Then if we click on my portfolio at the top left of our screen, we can see again, my portfolio has updated. Here is my Bitcoin balance and here is the fiat balance in terms of US dollars. Now, one thing you might want to do for record keeping and making your life a bit easier is set a note every time you receive Bitcoin. So if I open my Bitcoin wallet over here and then I click on the magnifying glass next to this transaction, we can see I am allowed to leave a note. What I'm going to do is set this note to test transaction because that's what it is. It's just a test. Then I'm going to click on save note and there we go. Test transaction has been saved to this transaction. And here we can see test transaction underneath activity. So if you're receiving Bitcoin from different sources, like let's say you receive from Coinbase, you might want to label that as Coinbase. If you receive more Bitcoin from a friend who bought something from you, maybe you leave it as your friend's name and what you sold to them. Now let's take a look at how to send Bitcoin. What I'm going to do is click on Bitcoin over here underneath demo wallet. And then I'm going to click on send at the top right of my screen. Now we need a receiver address, a BTC amount, fee priority and a note. So the receiver address is where you're sending the funds to. This can be an exchange, it can be another wallet, it can be another hardware wallet. Wherever you want the funds to go to, you put that address here. I'm going to send the funds back to Blue Wallet. So here on my phone, I've got a Blue Wallet address. And on Bitbox app, I'm going to click on scan QR code over here and show my QR code to the screen. But first, of course, I need to allow camera access for Bitbox. And there we go. Bitbox has scanned my QR code. It's got my address. If I check on Blue Wallet, I can see it matches. It ends in PC NSR. So that is all good. Next, we need to set a Bitcoin amount. So you can set whatever you want here. For example, 0 0.001. But in this case, I'm just going to click on send all to send the entire balance back to my blue wallet. Now we can set a fee priority. So if I click over here, we've got four priorities, no priority, low, medium or high. In this case, I'm not in a rush to get this Bitcoin, but I also don't want it to take very long just in case fees spike. So I'm going to set this to medium. And now for a note, I'm going to say test transaction. All right, so all my details have been inputted into Bitbox app. I'm going to click on review. And here it says confirm and send transaction, continue on your Bitbox. So here on my Bitbox, we just wanna confirm that all these details are correct. Firstly, we're sending this much Bitcoin to this address. So I can see that that amount of Bitcoin is correct. And if I scroll through this address by scrolling to the right, we can see it ends in PC and SR, which is the correct address. If you are sending a large amount, I would recommend checking more characters just to ensure that this address really is correct. What I'm going to do is click on proceed at the top right of my bit box. And here it says the total amount with the fee. That looks good to me. So I'm going to proceed by holding both buttons down. And there we go. It says transaction confirmed with a little check mark. And then on my screen, it says this transaction has been signed and sent. Now, if I click back on my Bitcoin account, we can see we have one transaction coming in and one transaction going out. And my balance is now set to zero Bitcoin. If I click on my portfolio as well, we will see I now have no more Bitcoin in this Bitbox. And there we go. That is how to set up and use your Bitbox O2 device. If you have any other topics you'd like me to cover on Bitbox, let me know in the comments below.